Bam! What's up guys? We are here today for a quick uh, account update on my own personal account that I started like uh, ages back now. So it's, I think we're on day 67 looking at this login reward, right? And we're going to talk about uh, doing your Skylander scenario shards as well as where you can get every other unit in the game outside of that, right? Like how you can farm pretty much every other unit as well, alright? So let me just show you guys something quickly, all right? If you come to your missions tab here, and I think you go power up, you'll see here, uh, you've got like a little awaken any Skylander mission, right? It says here I've awakened 41 Skylanders. Yeah, 41 of them in about 67 days. And remember, this is completely free to play. Just, just going into the scenarios and doing each of these, uh, see like uh, stink bombs here, you know, just doing, doing these guys, washbuckler, uh, you know wildfire all right so let me let me show you guys this is what your monster box can look like after about 67 days of making sure you jump in you do uh, previously like this account was uh, here before the patch right so I did farm a couple of these using uh, boss scenario shards when they still drop from the boss scenarios uh, such as chill I was able to get a few uh, chill pieces and start on him a bit earlier uh, and then there was units like, uh, let's see, let's let's show Shadow Spitfire. Where is he? I think he's down, oh, no, I went past him. Here he is. So he's like, he's only about four star awakened. Uh, you can see I've got like 10 out of 30 pieces, right? Um, you know, cert certain units uh, weren't uh, easily available. And then I've got units like uh, Gusto here, who is like both five star plus four. And uh, he'll, he'll actually be upgraded a bit now because today is uh, air day. But as you can see, this is what the box, my, like my box looks like at the moment. And that's all because I was getting in there doing my guaranteed uh, daily scenario shards, all right? So, you know, like uh, Crusher here, wasn't able to farm him pre-patch, uh, for example. Uh, Pop Fizz. Uh, was I think available uh, pre-patch and now he's also dropped for like the Nightfall, uh, sorry not Nightfall, the Drobot, uh, what, is, what do we call it, Scenario Mission I guess, or uh, you know, but uh, as you can see some of these one star units, uh, I haven't really been summoning many wish stones, uh, I have started summoning my wish stones uh, a bit more so I can finally flesh out and finish off my one star and two star units without having to actually like bother with uh, farming them in scenarios right and you see here Grilla Driller you see Stink Bomb's been getting his daily farm on uh, Stink, Stink Bomb's probably a good example here uh, he was one of the first ones I started farming uh, properly after the patch I don't think I was uh, farming him before the patch I don't think I was doing his boss scenario shard so like you see here he's five star awakened uh and i've got about 35 shards for him too right whereas like uh units like shadow spitfire uh i had to like break into to start farming and i'd kind of left him for a few days as well but as you can see guys like when, when you can actually like when you actually get in there and start grabbing these guaranteed shards it pays off all right uh so this you know this is what your box will look like as soon as you got in get into them all right now, as for the other units, so the non-farmables, so, so let's say uh, Blast Zone here. Now he was available pre-patch. I did get a, like, you know, I did have a few of his shards and he was sitting there for a while, uh, unable to be farmed, all right? Uh, same as like Crusher now, he can't really be farmed, right? Well, actually, what you can do, if you still want to farm these units, right? You can come down to the Mansion of Gloom and you see how it drops, uh, th this is your regular drop, right? So let's let's pretend like you've gone through and you found every other uh, Skylander shard in here. You've got the more six star awakened. Well, now what do you do, right? You want to farm the other units. Uh, you know, you, you feel like, okay, now I've got to summon the other units. Well, actually, all you've really got to do is you come down to, say, scenario uh, nine. Let's see, I believe this is, all right, so... Easy has the uh, attack type Omni Gems. Uh, normal has the expert type Omni Gems. And then if you come over to uh, Shrine of Light here, uh, Normal has the support type Omni Gems. 
and easy has the rare defense type on the gems if you're collecting these each day as well as well as even say the the boss reward so you see you get the rare omni soul stones right and then of course you've got the heroic omni soul stones if you want uh you can you can actually uh farm in say mansion of gloom normal indefinitely now and just continue getting these expert you know these rare expert type omni soul stones uh same thing with easy you can just sit in easy and farm these rare attack type Omni Soul Stones. Makes sense, right? And then what you can do, of course, you come to your Skylanders. Uh, we'll come to Blast Zone here as an example. And we can just, boom, add some expert Omni Stones. They are a 4 to 1 ratio, unfortunately. But the point is that you can continue to farm them. And let's say you've farmed everything else, you need some gold. Uh, where are you going to farm now, right? Uh, you've already got the other shards. Do so you really want to farm the other areas uh, and get nothing out of it? Shard-wise, uh, not much point is there. So now we can just jump in. We can farm these uh, 4 to 1 ratio Omni Gems while we farm gold. And then we can put them into our unfarmable Skylanders, right? Or our, our supposedly unfarmable Skylanders. And of course, then you've got your Hall of Chaos, which I would... Try to save Hall of Chaos uh, specifically for Nat 4s and for Nat 5s, alright? Your Extreme Dungeons are going to pop. Uh, and yeah, try try not to use them too much on 3 stars. Like, maybe uh, Light Jetpack. Uh, any any kind of unit that's going to help uh, immensely with uh, a type of progression, maybe. Uh, or that you're working on at the moment, maybe. But try to save them specifically for like your, your Nat 4s and your uh, Nat 5s. Because for your three stars, you can just go and farm those expert omnis, right? And by the, I mean, by the time you're even at the point of wanting to farm those expert omnis, like you should be doing your daily uh, scenario shards anyway, right? So, like you don't really need to fuss too much about rushing for uh, anything else, all right? So like a lot of people are rushing down their rune dungeons. A lot of people are rushing. Uh, for a specific unit, you don't need to hard farm these hard farm these units to make progress. All right, uh, as shown in uh, one of my previous videos, uh, where we used Hex Crit King and Light Fla uh, just regular Flashwing uh, early on, we didn't worry about hard farming them. Uh, we dumped some Omni Gems into Hex. We used that Hex Crit King Flashwing combination to clear pretty much the entire game. All right, um, and it's just a matter of you know. Build up your other units, level them up, all right, and jump on, uh, collect your shards each day, and within about, you know, within about 60 days to, uh, you know, about a couple of months, right, you too will also have a monster box that looks very similar to this, where you've got a whole bunch of awakened units, and I have done some comparisons, all right, uh, I did some comparisons yesterday against a few units uh, on the alt account. As well as my uh, main account, which is definitely further ahead in terms of stats and stuff, uh, against some max level 70 units. So, uh, Super Shot Elf here, for example, um, there was only about a 400, so at base, right? So, ignoring the added stats here, at base, it was only about a 400 attack difference. Now, some people might say, hey, that sounds like a lot, but when you're comparing like a, a four star awakened to a six star awakened, uh, or like a, a five star plus five awakened, like it's it's not that big of a difference, right? You can make that up in other areas, uh, specifically your rune sets, all right? Like that four hundred attack, it's not going to make or break a run, all right? Not not like, uh, not for like your early progression and things like that. Like there's not too much that you can't do by uh, jumping on, collecting your shards. Uh, just max max their levels, guys. By the time you max most of these uh, units, you will have more than enough shards to six star them uh, or awaken them, depending on which one you want to go for. I am going to start recommending that we awaken first because uh, for like a lot of or most of our skyners, because a lot of them will get skills such as um, reducing the mana cost, like Super Shot Elf does, right? So this skill before you awaken it is a five mana cost. Now it's a two mana cost, all right? Uh, you know, again, kaboom gets an AoE instead of a single target 
uh, jump attack, right? Which puts bombs on everyone rather than just a single target. Uh, Washbuckler, obviously he gets the blind instead of the attack down. You know, there's a lot of units that, when awakened, perform much better because of their skills. Uh, you know, getting that buff. Uh, since the stat difference isn't that big of a difference, like, it's not a big deal anymore because we can just max their level. Uh, I am going to start, like like I said, I am going to start recommending, you know, Awaken first, then 6-star. Try to get them to 5-star Awakened. Um, I think, like, 5-star Awakened is a good middle ground, but, like, if you're, if you're stuck and you've got, say, uh, you know, like a 2-star or something, and you want to Awaken it, don't feel too bad. You're not going to lose out on that many stats, uh, and you're going to make him viable. Like, you know, you're going to make it so that you can use him first, and then you're going to power him up even more by powering up and evolve him, evolving him further as the days go on, all right? And it's not going to take that long. You know, within the, fir within the first two to three weeks, you will have most of those units sorted. You'll already be farming, uh, you know, in the meantime, just farm like Wailing 8 or something, right? Like, I've got the progression guide there. You can get to Wailing 8 in like five days, all right? You know, depending on how much playtime you put into it, you know, a week. Uh, and... You know, just just farm some runes, and then log in, grab your grab your shards. Don't worry about hard farming unit. And then as time goes on, you'll be rune farming. You'll you will have a very nice collection of runes ready to go for these Skylanders. Uh, you know, once they're ready to go. You know, there's no need to push down like try to like force yourself down uh, rune dungeons and stuff because having a variety of Skylanders is going to be like very very helpful. And um, speaking of pushing down re dungeons, I will be releasing another video shortly. I'm working on the alt account again. I was inactive on him for like a week and a half, two weeks, and I decided, you know what, let's let's do a little showcase for uh, breaking into B9 and Wailing 9. So that's going to come soon, by the way. And uh, yeah, I just want to show you guys. You know, you can you can farm pretty much every Skylar in the in the game. Uh, just be patient, and uh, you know you too will wind up with a box that looks very similar to this. Uh, you can, you I can use all these monsters, right? I can use all these Skylanders as long as I throw some runes on them. Uh, you know the the four star awakened max levels. I've used them in invasion and stuff. They've performed well, and uh, yeah, let me just. Uh, pop over and show you guys the results for this week uh, for myself, right? Uh, let's see, Invasion. And uh, as you can see, uh, current rank 9, 1.7 mil, alright? For, for this week's Invasion. Uh, you know, you, you don't need to push too hard, alright? Like, just have some patience. <laughs> That's that's all I uh, you know want to get out there is have some patience, um, and you know good things will come to your account. All right. Uh, now as for uh, the little bit that I mentioned just before, I want to show you guys uh, for this particular account. You, uh, you may or may not have seen my Beast Nine video where my uh, Boomer is soloing it. All right. Well, I also have uh, three star Wailing Nine now in a somewhat unorthodox method i'm going to tack that onto the end and uh it's a little amusing uh because you know i'm experimenting with a couple of things so that i can uh give you guys better feedback on those specific things as well as uh you know decide was it worth it was it not worth it you know so sometimes you guys will see me do things with my account and then i'm going to say all right don't do that because it doesn't work out too well all right uh let's see uh, yeah, no, I think that was it for this video. It is, like, obviously not a very long one. I just want to show you guys, hey, this is what you can achieve in oh so many days just by jumping on, do your shards, or do the shards for the Skylanders that you want, and, uh, yeah, expect a Wailing 9 and Beast 9 breaking into related videos shortly-ish. It's just a matter of, uh, I am still leveling a couple units on the alt account, uh before i want to like actually showcase it uh so don't hold your breaths uh for too long <laughs> but uh yeah it is coming 
Uh, and yeah, then I'll, you know, there'll be a couple of other things coming as well uh, in a little while. Let's see here. Yeah, all right, cool. I'll uh, leave it there. And once again, here you go, guys. Once again, check it out. I am, I'm, I'm very happy with how it turned out. You, uh, you guys can see T-Rex here. I decided to like six star him rather than awaken him first. Uh, but yeah, like some of these units with these shards, like look at that freeze blade, 205, 205 guys. Uh, yeah, like it's just, you know, you log in, do your EDs, uh, farm, farm your daily shards. <laughs> I've repeated myself a lot, I know, but like, you know, check these dudes out. Like these, these guys can definitely be used as is just, you know, once their level is maxed. All right. Like this guy here, very handy. Currently giving me like a 20% win rate in arena, I think, no, 15%, 15%, uh, just by having him in there because he's hard to deal with. Oh, she's hard to deal with. Sorry. And just, yeah. Anyways, I'll catch you guys on the next one. And, uh, yeah, happy progression guys. Wow. <laughs>